Welcome to Yin Restorative Class. We're going to start the class um, coming into a child pose on our booster. So if you don't have a booster, no problem. Just use a big pillow. So the booster is actually quite firm. And what we're going to do is we're going to lie on top of it. So you can watch me first. And I'm just going to come straddle on it. My head is going to dangle. So what you can do is you can rest your forehead on the block, make yourself comfortable. In every yin pose, we're gonna stay for about two to three minutes. We're not looking to stretch any muscles, not looking to strengthen. We're looking for a release sensation. So when you're ready, we're just gonna come here in this child pose. Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath and we're going to slowly come out of this. Now we're going to push the booster away. We're going to come lie down on our stomach. So take your time to come lie down. Going into a crocodile. So if you like, you can have your blanket or towel to support the knee. So I'm going to have my left knee bent, the other one straight. And once again, you can uh, lie down on a piece of towel. Right cheek on the mat. I'm so in teeth. Make yourself comfortable. Staying here for about two minutes. We're looking for a feeling of release. 
especially at the end of the day, after a day of working, and you just want to come on your mat, melt yourself away. Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath and we're gonna go into a wing on the ground. So keep the right arm the way it is on the floor. And we're gonna slowly transition to come lie down on our side. Arm leg straight, top leg bent. Top leg can be in front or behind the straight leg. Top arm can stay on the mat, wrap around your waist, or reach for the same foot. So make yourself comfortable. If this stretch on the right shoulder is causing you pain, you can slowly come out of it. Especially if you have previous injury or surgery. And actually, you can pop the head up higher on the block to make it a pillow. One more breath here, and we're gonna slowly release. 
Bring the right arm back. And we're gonna continue to lie on our side. Then both knees, and when we can have the blanket or towel between the knees. And continue to stay here in the fetus position for a couple of minutes. Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath and we're going to slowly release and we're going to repeat everything on the other side. So I'm putting my blanket on the other side, going into crocodile first. So arms are in T. Legs are apart, bending the right knee, draw close to the right elbow. Make yourself completely flat. Taking up your breath here. Blanket underneath the right knee for support.
Stay here for five more breaths. One more breath and we're going to transition. Coming into weighing on the ground. So we're going to keep the left arm out the way it is. Slowly roll on your side. Palm leg straight. Top leg can be bent in front of behind the straight leg. Half arm can stay on the mat, wrap around the waist or reach for the same foot. And feel free to use your block as a pillow. Make yourself comfortable. Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath and we're going to slowly release, roll back to the center of the mat. Retrieve the left arm. We're going to bend both knees. And you can use your blanket. Between the knees for support. Coming into a fetus position. Staying here for a couple of minutes.
Stay here for five more breaths. One more breath, and we will slowly come out of this. Pushing yourself to come up. Setting ourselves up for the next pose. You may use the booster again. Coming into a fish pose. So get your butt as close to the booster as possible. And you may need your block at the other end. So I'm going to lie on top of it. Now the head can stay dangle here. So this is where you can use your block to support the head. I'm soaked. Open up. Opening up the lung heart chest. Staying here for five more breaths. <laughs> One more breath, and we're going to slowly come out of it. Pushing the booster away. Coming into seated.
Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath, and we're slowly coming back up. Sliding your booster to one side. And if wide leg is difficult, feel free to bend the other leg. And we're gonna slump over to this, on this side. Staying here for a couple of minutes. Relax, let go. Staying here for five more breaths. One more breath, and we're gonna slowly, slowly come back up. Sliding the booster to the other side. Once again, your wide leg is difficult for you, uncomfortable, do you fold the leg that you're not using? And we're going to slowly slump over to this pillow.
five more breaths. One more breath, and we're going to slowly, slowly coming back. Pop the pillow up here. We're going to rest the forehead on it, so I'm going to place it on the mat so it doesn't slide away.
staying here for five more breaths. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release. Pushing ourselves back up. Now we're just going to push the booster a little bit further up. Coming into a swan, and bending the right one. Slide the back like that. I'm going to come back down on my booster. Just relax you. for five more breaths. One more breath and we're going to slowly release, pushing ourselves back up. And we're going to switch legs. Right leg straight, left leg bend. Slowly ease yourself onto your booster or pillow. Relax. Staying here for a couple of minutes.
staying here for five more breaths. One more breath, and we're going to slowly release, pushing ourselves back up. We'll bring the booster to the back of the mat. And we're going to come lie down on the mat. Pop your knees up. Staying here for a couple of minutes.
couple more breaths here. And we're gonna slowly release, slowly rise up. And we're gonna build a ramp using box. Place your pillow on your block. Now we're gonna come and sit as close to the block as possible. And we're gonna come to a twist. Make yourself comfortable. Couple more breath here, and we're going to go to the other side. So pushing yourself back up. So we don't have to um, set it up again. We're just going to roll over to the other side. Get your hips like close to the booster as possible. And then we're going to come lie down. So we're going to actually come lie down on this pillow. Legs are 90 90 if you can. Namaste.